Do you know one of the biggest differences between electric vehicles and regular gas-powered cars? For a long time, we believed that upgrading a gas car was just about adding better features or a new design. But electric vehicles are completely different. When you upgrade an EV, it's not only about the car, the battery needs to be upgraded too, and that changes everything. That's why EV batteries are always being studied to find better and cheaper solutions. Take Tesla as an example. It took them three years from announcement to production for their 4680 battery, which is seen as one of the most advanced EV batteries in the world right now. But Tesla's main competitor isn't waiting around. BYD is planning to release a new electric vehicle this June with a battery that can be fully charged in just five minutes. Even more exciting, BYD says this battery will completely change EV safety standards. It has passed extreme tests like being crushed, bent, baked at 300 degrees Celsius, and overcharged by 260%, and it didn't catch fire or explode in any of those situations. So, what kind of battery is this? And how does it compare to Tesla's 4680? Let's take a closer look. Tesla has always been a leader in the electric vehicle world. But over the past year, BYD has taken the lead in terms of sales. In 2024, BYD made $17 billion in revenue and sold 4.27 million vehicles, including both fully electric and hybrid models. In contrast, Tesla brought in $97.7 billion but sold only 1.79 million vehicles. Clearly, BYD is beating Tesla in some important areas, and we need to notice that. In our view, BYD's next-generation Blade battery could create a lot of excitement when it gets launched in their new EV this June. You may have already heard about BYD's Blade battery. Tesla has even used it in some Model Y vehicles in Europe. The Blade battery is a specially made lithium iron phosphate battery, built for electric cars. It is well known for being safe, having steady performance, and lasting a long time. It was first released in 2020 and is now used in most of BYD's models. It has already been tested in real world conditions. The name, Blade battery, comes from its shape, the battery cells are long and thin like blades. It uses a design called Celta Pack which skips the traditional battery modules and puts the cells directly into the battery pack. This helps save space, cuts down on weight and thickness, and gives the battery a longer life while also leaving more room in the car for passengers. It also performs well in managing heat and keeping the battery safe. However, it's fair to say that the older version of the Blade battery didn't have anything especially impressive. Its energy density only reached 140 watt-hours per kilogram, and it took around 20 to 30 minutes to charge. So today, we want to focus on the newest version of this battery. The latest Blade battery has reached a level that makes us think charging an EV as fast as filling a gas tank could be possible. It has been tested in real cars, not just in labs. Initial results show this new battery can give up to 30% more energy efficiency compared to earlier models. That means the car can go farther while using less electricity. The new Blade battery's energy density is expected to be around 190 watt-hours per kilogram, a big improvement from the old 140. But this isn't just a regular battery update. BYD's engineers completely redesigned the battery's chemistry and structure to allow for faster charging, more range, and longer life, all while keeping costs low. What's really surprising is that the first cars to use this new battery will cost around $37,260 and $38,600. That's actually cheaper than Tesla's Model 3, which is their least expensive car. At first, we thought this kind of advanced technology would be very costly and only used in luxury cars or premium SUVs priced over $100,000. But at this lower price point, it's honestly surprising. The first vehicles to use this ultra-fast charging battery are the Han L sedan and the Tang L SUV. These models will have up to 1,086 horsepower. While that might not be a record in high-performance vehicles, it's still pretty amazing for a luxury car priced around $37,000. BYD's founder, Wang Chuanfu, said the second-generation Blade battery has a smaller battery pack, lighter weight, 
and uses less energy for every 100 kilometers. That means this battery not only increases energy storage but also makes better use of space, weight, and energy. To make it clearer, BYD said that in real car tests, this battery could charge fast enough to add 470 kilometers, or 292 miles, of range in just 5 minutes. BYD also mentioned that the top versions of these cars will be able to handle 1 megawatt of power, that's 10 C or 1000 kilowatts. This high charging rate removes worries about slow charging. With a 10 C rating, the battery can fully charge in one tenth of an hour, or just six minutes. Every second adds about two kilometers of range. Charging a battery this fast needs very high voltage and a lot of current. But high current can produce a lot of heat, which can damage batteries. BYD said they've reduced internal resistance in the new battery, which helps manage that heat. To handle the high voltage, they also created a new generation of silicon carbide chips. So, why does BYD say this new blade battery changes EV safety rules? As we mentioned earlier, it passed tough tests like crushing, bending, and even piercing without catching fire. The surface temperature stayed between 30 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. That's a lot safer than other types of batteries. Blade batteries use a stacking design instead of the usual cylindrical shape. This setup spreads heat more evenly, handles power better, and improves safety. In comparison, batteries made with NMC can self-ignite at around 200 degrees Celsius. That's when the materials start to melt and catch fire. But the blade battery's ignition point is much higher, between 500 degrees Celsius and 800 degrees Celsius. The battery is also coated with a special high-temperature ceramic that improves heat resistance and insulation, making it even safer. Most EV batteries in China using lithium iron phosphate or NMC last for about 3,000 cycles in labs and 2,000 cycles in real use. But the new blade battery, thanks to its larger stacked cells and advanced ceramic tech, can last over 5,000 cycles. After 5,000 cycles, it loses less than 20% of its capacity. That means it lasts up to three times longer than NMC batteries, which usually handle between 500,000 and 1 million kilometers. Now, let's compare the BYD Blade battery to Tesla's 4680. When it comes to energy density, Tesla has the edge. The 4680 battery reaches up to 300 watt-hours per kilogram, which is far higher than the Blade's 190. This means Tesla can fit more energy into a smaller battery, helping the car drive further without adding more weight. For a heavy vehicle like the Cybertruck, this is very important. The 4680 battery helps reduce weight, increase range, and boost performance, all without sacrificing much. So yes, the Tesla 4680 is clearly better in terms of energy density. But the BYD Blade battery is safer and lasts longer. This makes it perfect for situations where durability and safety are more important than range. The Tesla 4680 focuses more on storing more energy and improving performance, while BYD's Blade battery focuses on safety and a longer life. However, Tesla still falls behind when it comes to charging time. The 4680 battery takes around 30 to 35 minutes to charge from 10% to 80%, depending on the charging power. That's not bad, but it's still much slower than the Blade battery, which can charge in just 5 minutes. We believe both battery types are safe, although the Tesla 4680 hasn't gone through as many real-world tests as BYD's battery. But it does have a tabless design and smart heat control features. This has been seen in Cybertruck accidents, where there were no fires or explosions caused by the battery. When we think about costs and production, each battery has its pros and cons Tesla's 4680 helps EVs go farther but takes longer to charge. The Blade battery may not go as far but charges super fast. Tesla has been a leader in electric cars for many years, thanks to its modern designs and new technologies. But now, even Tesla faces real competition. Many believe that the Model Y is Tesla's best vehicle. It's a well-balanced SUV that people love. But that doesn't mean it will keep selling forever. 
Even the latest version still doesn't use the 4680 battery, it uses the older LFP battery. And that technology is starting to show its age as other companies like BYD improve their batteries quickly. The BYD Han L sedan is about the same size as Tesla's Model S. It's 5,150 mm long with a 3 meter wheelbase, offering a lot of space. What's amazing is that it uses a 1000 volt EV platform, the highest in the world right now. With the Blade battery, the standard version has an 83.2 kilowatt hour battery, giving a range of up to 701 kilometers in Chinese tests, or about 580 kilometers in global tests. And with 10C fast charging, it can add 400 kilometers of range in just 5 minutes, which is nearly as fast as filling a gas tank. The Tang L is the SUV version of the Han L. It has 7 seats and is the same length, but offers more room due to the SUV shape. Right now, this is the fastest charging EV in the world. And its interior is truly impressive. BYD has done a great job designing a luxury cabin that looks and feels top-notch. BYD has clearly spent a lot of time developing this new platform. We expect to see many more models using this new blade battery. There are actually two versions, one for super-fast charging, and another with higher energy density for long-distance travel. The current models use the fast-charging version. The high-range version could allow future cars to travel over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. Think about stopping for just a few minutes and getting a full charge. That's no longer science fiction. It's the future of EV technology. But of course, there are challenges. At first, the new blade battery will be expensive. New technology always raises production costs. Faster charging also means higher electricity demand, which could increase charging costs. Plus, we still don't fully understand how fast charging affects battery health over time. Will this battery be in every car soon? Probably not. Most car companies are still focused on making batteries cheaper, not faster. Most people charge their EVs overnight at home, especially those who don't drive long distances often. Still, when we hear about this kind of real-world battery progress, it makes you think, why buy a gas car when you can get an EV that charges in 5 minutes and goes 300 miles? Chargers with 1000 kW speed are already being tested, and 450 kW ones are popping up in places like Australia. Some experts are asking if Tesla's 4680 battery can keep up with BYD's new designs. The 4680 helped make Tesla successful, but if it's only in the Cybertruck, the Model Y might fall behind. BYD is moving quickly, and the competition is heating up. Being first used to matter. Now, constant improvement matters more. If BYD keeps improving its battery tech, Tesla will need to move fast to stay ahead. The real question isn't whether BYD's battery is better, it's whether Tesla can stay in the lead.